Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and tis the season to be sharing. So what I got going on today is we're gonna convert this little Raspberry Pi into a Wi-Fi hotspot. Now why we wanna do that is so we could connect multiple people to this little guy and share your music, share your videos, share your pictures, share whatever you want, anywhere you want. So let's get started. So guys, we're gonna need a couple of things before we get started. One is a Wi-Fi dongle that supports master mode. And that's very important because you're gonna need it just to convert your Raspberry Pi to an access point. And uh, I'm using one from Canakit and I bought it from a kit when I bought this Raspberry Pi. And I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to show you where you can get that also. And I know it's a real tech 5370 or something like that. And when you check, you could see that it supports master mode. The next thing we're gonna need is some type of service that we have installed into this Raspberry Pi. Now I have a couple of videos that you could use um, to install into this guy and then we could get this started. I would highly recommend using the NAS file server and also the Plex Media server. So let's log into our Raspberry Pi. And uh, right now I actually have it connected through the ethernet and the Wi-Fi dongle installed. And to check that, you could do if config you're gonna see a WLAN zero. Now earlier in the video I told you that you could check to see if you have master mode. Now to do that, what we need to do is actually install a program called w IW. So sudo app get install IW. And that's gonna run through the setup real quick to install this little utility that I could actually check to see what modes my Wi-Fi dongle supports. All right, now that we got that program in, we sudo, I believe we sudo, sudo IW list. And if you scroll up and down, you're gonna see what you're allowed to use. And here's what we're looking for. Um, you see now I could do AP, access point. All right, now that we got that out of the way, um, another thing we're gonna have to uninstall because it will conflict with our host program which I it took me a while just to figure this out on version 2 of host APD if you have WPA supplicant installed it will not allow you to put the host mode on so sudo app get purge WPA supplicant now, next step we're going to have to do is install a DHCP server. This way when somebody connects, um, the Raspberry Pi will automatically assign an IP address for that device. So sudo app get install isc-dhcp-server. I'm going to leave all these commands in my website and I'm going to leave it in the link in the description below. So you don't have to pause, you could just open my website and follow through with it because there's going to be a few configurations that we're going to have to um, perform and it's easier to copy and paste from my website to your configuration files. Now next step is again we're going to have to configure DHCP so sudo nano dhcp slash dhcpd dot con config scroll down to the bottom and you want to add these following lines, which is the subnet, subnet mask, the range of the IPs that you want um, from 25 to 50, uh, domain name server, which is Google's domain name server, and uh, we're going to consider this as a router, so to access the Raspberry Pi it will be 10.10.0.1 and on our interface of WLAN 0. So when we're done with that, save changes to that, and we're going to install our host access point daemon so sudo app get install host apd all right now that that's installed we're gonna have to configure that also so sudo nano etc 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 whatever you want to call it etc host apd slash host apd dot conf and adding these lines to the configuration file. Now I'm going to show you what I'm doing. The interface is going to be WLAN. The driver is going to be NL80211 because that's the driver that allows you to uh, uh, perform the mode. SSID, which is share some Pi. So that's what's going to show up on our Pi. Mode, 
channel, WPA, you probably know these things already, the password for your WPA password, and then what type of um, encryption it's gonna be and stuff like that. So when we save that, now our host AP, when we turn that on, it's gonna know what to do with it. Now for testing purposes, um, we're gonna try it out now and see what happens. So we're gonna put our interface on WLAN 0, 10.10.0.1. Then, oh, forgot sudo. So sudo if config wlan 10.10.0.1, and then we're gonna want to turn on our DHCP server. So sudo etc. Initial D. Isc DHCP server restart, and. We, if you want, we could actually forward the traffic from our Wi-Fi to our Ethernet port, but we're not going to do that yet. We're just doing this for testing purposes. sudo host apd d for debug, and then we're going to point it to our um, config file that we just created, and you should it should spit out a bunch of this stuff. Uh, I forgot to sudo reboot. because we uninstalled the WPA and now it's kicking back with a problem and this is how it, you could tell. It says operation already in progress. So I'm gonna wait for that to reboot, reconnect, and then try this again with the host AP. Okay. So if con sudo if config wlan 0 10.10.10.1 restart our DHCP server host AP d slash host apd to our config file that we created and there we have it now it's created an interface and this is how it looks like with this whole mumbo jumbo now if i click into my wi-fi you should see something that says share some pi and when i connect to it secret pass word you're gonna see some mumbo jumbo spit out on our raspberry pi that means we know it's working no we don't want it to allow discoverable and um we know now it's communicating to our raspberry pi and it's trying to get the wpa going and um maybe i typed in the password wrong i'm not exactly sure i should have connected by now <laughs> oh let's see I am connected to Share Some Pi. There's no internet, but it's secured. So, to test this, let's open up a browser. One nine, no, 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 sorry. 10.10.0.1. Because this has uh, Plex Media ins um, installed, it should be able to go right into Plex using the 10.10.1. And if you remember from my previous episodes, again, I'll leave a link in the description. This was my Raspberry Pi with Plex installed. And you see it connected to it using that IP address. Okay, now that we know everything's all set up and ready to go, we're gonna make everything persistent. So every time when you boot up this router, it will automatically just become an access point or a hotspot, whatever you wanna call it. Now, first thing we're gonna do is sudo nano into our network file, network slash interfaces. And in here, um, we don't need WLAN 1. I actually had this for something else before, so let's remove that, I don't really need it. And WLAN 0, uh, what we're gonna add is, I. Uh, we're gonna remove this. I face LAN, I net, and we're gonna change that to static. 
Uh, we don't need this because we removed the WPA supplicant. Uh, we're going to make an address for it, which we did on command line before, which is 10.10.0.1. .10 and net mask of 255 After you save that, next time when you reboot, it's going to automatically bring that up. Next thing what we're going to want to do is sudo nano into our RC local file. And we're going to add some commands into here. So every time it boots, it will automatically just boot up the host apd slash b for background. Host apd slash host apd dot config. So that's where it's pointing right to our config file. Now, remember earlier I was saying like if you have an ethernet connected, you could actually forward the traffic. Now, what we're going to do here is add an extra line. IP tables. T net a post routing interface would be etho zero because that's where we're gonna fold our traffic. J masquerade and that will forward all our traffic from our wi uh, wireless device to our Ethernet port. And then we're going to have to sudo nano sysctl.config file and add net.ipv4.ip underscore forward equals one. Save that. And then on our next reboot, it's going to forward our traffic when we are connected through this Wi-Fi. That way, if you are connecting this to somebody's house and they have internet, you can connect the ethernet cable. And now your access point also has internet. Now to test this all, let's do a sudo reboot. To close my network connection. Uh, it's gone. My um, share some pie is gone. I'll wait until this kicks on, and you should automatically see share some pie up in this. Oh, there you go. Came back up. Share some pie. Connect. My pie should be back up by now because you see the internet face. Internet interface. And there's not. And anytime you need to check stuff, you could check it in the log files if you have any problems. But now, since we ran in the background, it's going to be in your syslogs. And you can see it's connected. And now it doesn't say no internet. It just says connected and secure. So we know now it's fil uh, passing traffic also through the Wi-Fi device through the e Ethernet. Now, if you have other services on this device, like a NAS, you would connect to it using the 10.10.0.1. So guys, now that you see how this all came together, you can see the function of this little device turned into a hotspot. You can now put this anywhere you want and have your friends and family upload or download files to it. And if they wanted to, they could connect to a Plex Media server built into this little guy and watch your videos that you have in there or listen to music that you have in there. Now, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you haven't done so already, please hit that little subscribe button. That helps me a lot. It also gives you a notification of when the next video is going to be released. I got it down to like a Wednesday when I usually upload, but the time frame is a little bit off. I'm trying my best to get everything going as smoothly as possible. Now, as I say in my little nerd cave, hack till it hurts. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe. It helps me a lot. And if you want to watch more videos like this, I'll post a link right here.